On the other hand, another closely related terms are business analytics and decision support systems. Decision support systems, basically any kind of tools that helps decision maker to look into to gain insights on the problem or the opportunities. Business analytics, the way it is now, seems to be data-oriented decision support systems. A sort of decision support system. Of course, the other decision support systems are model-oriented decision support system or communication-oriented, solver-oriented, text-oriented. There are many kind of decision support systems out there. And business analytics are closely related to data-oriented decision support systems. There are three types of business analytics classified according to the complexity and the advantage they bring. They are descriptive analytics, predictive analytics, and prescriptive analytics. And all these three analytics are <coughs> uh, represented very well in figure 8.1 in your textbook. And it is modified. I, I, I had to modify it from Davenport in order to fulfill and detail certain aspects. And descriptive analytics is supposed to deal with the current status of the company, how things are going, and what's happening in the company. Providing KPRs, KPIs are part of the descriptive analytics. Predictive analytics is supposed to analyze the future of the company by bringing the risks and opportunities to light. Prescriptive analytics is supposed to provide best course of actions on managerial tasks. It seems to be critical to enable decision makers and managers to deal with their problems at first hand. Personal business analytics and personal decision support systems are supposed to enable decision makers to do that on their own privacy kind of self-serve BA self-serve decision support system. One of the most common software in enabling managers in their personal decision making is the spreadsheet family. If we take Microsoft Excel as a good representative of this family, the certain capabilities are available for BA and DSS builders, such as Power Pivot, Power Query, Power BI, Power Business Intelligence, Power Map, Data Mining, Solver, Data Analysis. When it comes to decision support systems, they go beyond the personal BA and provide support directly related to the problem on hand. These supports these include, but not limited to, computational support, modeling support, communication and collaboration support, data support, cognitive support, knowledge support, and mobile support. Decision support system can be defined as interactive business information systems, which is supposed to help decision makers to utilize data and models in handling decision problems. Their components are depicted in the picture, in, in figure, data management module, model management module or subsystem, dialogue management module or subsystem and knowledge management subsystem. Data management deals with data provision for the decision maker. Model management usually deals with algorithms and 
um, mathematical models and simulation models to represent the system itself and allows all sorts of scenario analysis on the system. Dialog management enables the decision maker to use to perform data management and model management without having an expertise on technological issues. And knowledge management is the way handle problems uh, as a as if the as if the decision maker is there. Therefore, knowledge management can be can be obtained from the corporate databases or corporate procedures or from the decision made the way the decision maker solves problems. It can be of course it needs to be well documented to turn to be the knowledge management. Of course when we have uh, all these special special information systems, these decision support system, expert system, business analytics, etc. They all are uh, require an attention closely related to risk security and ethics. Security of information systems has called has a trait trait called CIA and they are confidentiality they stand for C stand for confidentiality I stand for integrity and A, A stand for availability confidentiality means prevention of unauthorized access to information integrity means securing accuracy and consistency of information availability means securing the continual access to information risks to computer hardware <coughs> natural disasters can easily harm hardware of course on the other hand instant power cuts called blackouts might cause damages uh, brownouts are voltage drops or spikes which may cause similar damages to blackouts risks to data and information the importance of data increases the risks associated with, with it. And cybercrime is an illegal action which exploits the vulnerability of computers and internet. Phishing is an illegal action which takes the advantage of people's weaknesses and shortcomings. A cracker is a hacker with malicious intentions. Changing a website is called a web defacement, especially, the, especially visually. SQL injection provides hackers administrative rights to interfere with data. Malware is a term dubbed from malicious software that hinders effective use of computers. Computer viruses are sort of mal malware that have a reproduction capacity. Worms main harm is to consume computer resources and result in inefficiency. Trojan horses, on the other hand, pretend like good software, although they are nothing but malware. Keyloggers may be a hardware or software designed to steal passwords. Spyware, on the other hand, is also a malware developed to capture and send private information to the perpetrator with no permission. <clears throat> Another type of risks associated with information systems is the one that can be down to operations. Some attacks try to disrupt or interfere with the operations of information systems. Denial of services and computer hijacking are the most common techniques used for this purpose. In 
denial of services attackers send millions of requests to a network or server to block the system. Distributed denial of service use large number of computers to send those requests. Computer hijacking performs a similar act like distributed denial of services, but also allow the perpetrator to control the computer itself through a software called bots. The main pur purpose of security management is to ensure sustainability of the three components of CIA triad. Control, of course, security management somehow should control unauthorized access to the information system, should perform periodical backups, should utilize a atomic transaction which does not allow independent changes on data sources. Encryption, or on the other hand, should be responsible to security management, which transform, encryption transform plain text to cipher text. Firewalls also may be employed in dealing with security issues and they control all incoming and outgoing communication of information systems. Digital signatures use a hashing algorithm and a mathematical formula to stop unauthorized sign of a document. When it comes to ethical issues in information security, of course, legal and ethical you know, both should be considered in the same token. This is basically do's and don'ts in dealing with information systems. What are the rules, written or uh, intangible rules, just accepted? Uh, responsibility, <clears throat> accountability, and liability are important in managing ethical issues. Responsibility is being aware of the potential costs, outcomes, and obligations for the actions taken. Accountability is, is to answer, should answer, is supposed to answer the question, who is responsible for this or that action? On the other hand, liability deals with compensation making up the unethical or illegal actions, how we can compensate, how we can make up that damage or harm under our responsibility. If we make a <clears throat> conclusion, Enterprise system should be designed to go beyond data collection and presentation. Business analytics might be incorporated with enterprise systems in order to gain a competitive advantage. Decision support systems are vital to enhance the manager's intellectual capabilities and improve organizational intelligence. Information is valuable as said that should be protected with measures and precautions. Managing enterprise-wide information systems has a lot to do with legal and ethical issues. Last but not least, before I leave, I should get your attention to those subjects. Remember to read the chapter go over the summary and the questions, jot down the main teachings, and I wish you all the best in your exams. I wish you a great day with Flow Education.